Hi everyone, my name is Andra Christie and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect in the Public Sector at AWS. I'd like to welcome you to the second video in our series where we show you different methods and tools to compress and convert large 3D models so they can be used with AWS IoT Twin Maker to build digital twins. In this video, we will follow a blog by Chris Azer, one of our TwinMaker specialists, which will also be included in the video links and which I highly encourage you to check out. We're going to apply a model conversion pipeline to compress and convert a Matterpack bundle into GLTF format. The architecture we will use includes AWS Lambda, which will detect a Matterpack zip bundle uploaded to an Amazon S3 bucket. This will trigger the conversion to GLTF within the long running Lambda execution. The zipped file may contain OBJ, MTL and JPEG files. If you didn't know, an OBJ file is a standard 3D image format that can be exported and opened by various 3D image editing programs. It includes a three-dimensional object, also 3D coordinates, texture maps, polygonal faces, and other object information. The MLT file or material library file contains one or more material definitions, each of which includes the color, texture, and reflection map of individual materials. With Matterpack JPEG files together with the MLT provided, it has colored texturing over the object within the model. When you're working with point cloud scans like Matterport, high resolution JPEG textures are captured throughout the scan. Doing a simple conversion of the OBJ to GLTF will still be quite large. So in order to improve this, the Lambda function in this video blog will first compress all JPEG images prior to converting them to GLTF. As a result, the conversion will produce a much smaller GLB or GLTF file. Keep in mind a GLTF file uses one of two possible file extensions, GLTF or GLB. GLB will be used in this session as this is the binary format as opposed to JSON resulting in a smaller model file. So what you'll need for this video blog will be an AWS account. We'll be running a cloud formational template that will install a Lambda function and we recommend you work in the Virginia region, so US East 1. There may be some small costs incurred on Amazon S3 storage and AWS Lambda model convert function. So let's get into it. Great. The first thing that we're going to do is download the Matterpack sample bundle. So we recommend Pro 2 but there are a number of different bundles that you can select. The size for the Pro2 sample is around 178 megabytes. Okay, so here is a bundle and you can download it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. And then the next step is for us to download the Lambda model convert deployment package. Again, I've already downloaded this. So here are my models and here's my Lambda function. Now the Lambda code is going to do a few things. It's going to download the Matterpack bundle from S3. It's going to extract to the Lambda temp directory. It's going to compress all JPEG images and then convert OBJ files to GLB. And finally, it's going to upload the GLB back to the S3 bucket. So now, if we go into S3, we can either select an existing bucket or we can create a new bucket. I'm going to create a new bucket. And hopefully that is going to be unique. Once the bucket is created, we're going to upload a um, Lambda function. Mm -hmm. 
make sure that you upload the lambda function zipped. Here we go. Okay, once the lambda function has been placed in S3 and successfully uploaded, we can launch the cloud formation template. So I'm going to go to the blog and I'm going to scroll down a little bit to find where the cloud formation template is. And here we go. I already went past it. Obviously, make sure that the function is uploaded successfully into S3. Now, if we go to the cloud formation template, there are a couple of changes that we need to make to the stack. The first change that we need to make is to change the Lambda artifact bucket name to the name of the bucket that we uploaded the function to. If you remember, that was twin maker models 55. And we also need to change the S3 bucket name parameter value to the name of a new bucket that will actually host the model files. This will be created for you, but just make sure that it's got a globally unique name. Otherwise, it will fail during the stack creation. So twin maker final model 55. I'm just going to check that, okay, our Lambda function uploaded. And now just hit acknowledge and create stack. Okay, so our S3 bucket has been created and now we just need to do a couple of things. Firstly, we need to create a folder called packs. And secondly, we're going to upload the Matterpack bundle that was downloaded earlier. And we're going to upload it into the packs folder. Make sure that you upload it in zipped format as well, because the Lambda function will unzip it during the processing. The conversion process, once this is uploaded, is going to start automatically and it shouldn't take longer than, again, a few minutes. And once this is complete, we're going to go back into the root of this very same bucket and we should see a GLB file. If for some reason there have been any issues or we don't see a GLB file, we can check CloudWatch for any logs from the Lambda function. Okay, so it's only taken a few minutes for the file to be converted successfully. And now we can download the GLB file. Remember we started out with nearly 180 megabytes in the original model, and now we're down to 18.5 megabytes, which is great. So download the file. I've actually already downloaded it, I think. No, I haven't, I might download it again. And then once we download it, we can upload it to AWS IoT Twin Maker to create our digital twin. So I'm going to download the model and now we're going to upload it into Twin Maker. I've got a number of workspaces, so I'm going to upload it into my Cookie Factory workspace, into the resource library. So just click on Add Resources, choose the file that you just downloaded. This should be a fairly quick process. And once that's uploaded, we're going to create a brand new scene in here and import the model.
You can change a few settings, for example, the environment preset. I like to set it to either neutral or chromatic. We'll set it to neutral for now. We'll go back into the scene and now we can add the 3D model. There we go, it's at the top of the list. Okay, so we've imported our 3D model. We can have a look at all the great detail. And all of this took us, again, probably less than 10 minutes to achieve. So to recap, you've successfully compressed and converted a nearly 180 meg point cloud scan by Matterport to an 80 meg GLB file. With the model converted, you can load this into your own IoT TwinMaker workspace. Just keep in mind that any matter tags you've created in Matterport are not transferable in this process and they must be recreated using the IoT TwinMaker tags in Scene Composer. Uh, be sure to clean up the work in the blog to avoid any charges. So, you know, delete the object files, the cloud formation stack and the model. And feel free to modify the process that you've seen in this blog to streamline 3D model updates directly to your IoT TwinMaker workspace. We we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video blog where we're going to show you some different tools that will allow you to compress and convert large 3D models so they can be used with AWS IoT TwinMaker.